Yeah. What's up, people, man? It's your boy LB, man. Whoo! Y'all, y'all, fresh up out of the sleep, man. Just decided to get this shit out the way, man. Uh, first I want to say, man, we lost again. The Lions lost again. Uh, this shit is this shit is unbelievable. First, I want to start by saying we lost again because of our own mistakes once again. Uh, low and too many people on the side of the field going, in which he missed, but of course he had a rego at it and made it. Uh, Stafford fumbling on uh, fumble and interceptions and shit. Uh, 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 boy, where do I start here? Where do I start here? Uh, what do I say, man? What do I say? What do I say? I don't know what to say about this one, man. Cowboy was doing his thing. I don't know, man. This offensive line is trash, man. Matthew Stafford. I just don't know, man. I don't know what to say about this guy right now. I don't. I just don't know, y'all. The defense hold up pretty well today. They kept get, leaving us, giving us chances to get back in the game. But once again, the offense failed. We only scored 12 fucking points, really? Really? We scored 12 points? That's that's all we can uh, muster up is 12 points, really, y'all? Uh, 12 points. I know they got a dog-ass defense, but 12 points, man. Uh, Golden Tate was finally getting, getting, getting rejuvenated. But of course, once again... No, the Lions gotta fuck they self in the game. Eric Ebron get called for a, uh, what a block or a knockdown or something. Negated the first down, which meant which mean we had to punt the ball back to them. Golden Tate got the first down. Eric Ebron did some stupid shit. Like I say, man, we keep losing on our mistakes. Keep. Losing on our mistakes constantly, constantly, constantly. It's like we can't get past the fucking 50 yard line for shit. And once we do get close to the 50 yard line, it seems like we either fumble or Matthew Stafford always throw a fucking interception. It never fucking fails. We just can't have a clean game for nothing in this world. For shit in this world. And I'm getting sick of people talking about Fairly and Sue. Fairly barely fucking played for us. Sue. Didn't really do shit either. He was getting double teams, which got Iggy Ansah and all them loose, but he didn't really do shit either. He only had like eight sacks or some shit like that. You see what's going on in uh, Miami? They gave this motherfucker all this money, and their defense is shitty. But fuck, fuck Sue, man. He ain't with us right now. I'm talking about the Lions. We lost, man. <coughs> I'm really starting to think that we're going to go 0 and 5. Because <laughs> shit, we couldn't beat Chargers even. They getting their ass bust right now. They look garbage. And the Vikings, they taking off on us right now. They busting teams' ass and shit, man. I don't know what to say. I don't want to give up. I don't want to give up. It's too early. But man, I don't. I just don't see us doing nothing. Any onside injury, Warford, and for our offensive line suck, garbage. We going to Seattle next week. We gonna get ran over. It just, it just, it's just not our year, man. Once again. It seemed like just like this seems just like 2011 when we won, went to the playoffs. And then that following year, we suck trash. I don't know, man. Matthew Stafford once again throwing interceptions. Mm -mm -mm. Joy Bell suck trash. That guy is garbage. He can't get a, like I said. He can't get a yard to save his life. And I'm a fan of Joy Bell. But he can't get a yard to save his fucking life, y'all. To save his life. And he can't find a hole to save his fucking life. The offensive line is just trash. Shit sucks so much. Balls and dick. This shit is ridiculous. It's it just, it just sad to watch. And this how y'all show up on fucking Sunday night football fucking primetime? Y'all show up like this to make mistakes after mistakes after mistakes? I just don't get it, man. I, I just don't get it, man. I, I just don't. I just don't. And, and I'm not even going to blame the team on that miss, uh, on that field goal mistake. That's fucking the coach. The coach supposed to peep that shit. He supposed to know that. In them situations, he supposed to know that, that that's no longer 
in the rules no more. You can no longer do that. You know what I'm saying? This shit is crazy, man. I don't, I don't understand. I just don't understand. I don't get this shit no more, y'all. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I'm glad the piss is coming up, man. I got some uh, another team to root for right now because the Lions, they letting me down right now, man. I'm a fan to the core, man. I'm a fan to the core. Been a fan to the core for a long time now, man. And this shit, this shit is sad right here. I still believe that we can... We got we to gotta go on some winning streaks, man. We got to at least go on the seven... Six, seven game winning streak soon. One of these games, man, we are going to at least a seven. I mean, if we go zero and five, man, and then after that, we're going to seven game winning streak. Going to seven game winning streak, how many games would be left? It'd be four games left. If we go, if we go 0 and five, and then we go on a seven game winning streak, it'd be four games left. And they winnable games. So I still think we can either make that 10 to 6 mark. Or, or 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 nine to seven, nine to seven, ten to six, or we can fuck around and get eleven and five, still. But there's no way in hell. We, for now on out, if we lose the rest of these games, and we as we if we lose against the Seattle and the Cardinals, and lose to Green Bay one time and ran out the rest of our games, we'd be ten and six, man. I just don't understand. I don't. I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. Our team as a whole is just booble. It's just, it's just trash. Matthew, uh, uh, Calvin Johnson doing this thing. He was coming through, living up to the uh, challenge. Golden Tate was finally getting hot, and boom, crash. <laughs> and and, and, and y'all know that the referees is not uh, on our side, so y'all cannot go into a game fucking up because they's not going to be on our side. Period. The referees is not going to be on the Lions side. They they do not be on our side ever. So, y'all got to be on your P's and Q's when y'all playing. Because the fucking referees don't got no respect for this team. At all. They never have. Never have. Never fucking have. And we have so many chances to blow this game open, man. And we just ain't do it. We just ain't do it. I'm glad the piss is coming up. Because this team looks suck, sucky right now, man. Look trash. I don't care how you, de you defend this shit. Ain't no defending this. Ain't no defending this. Matthew Stafford, get your shit together, man. Get your fucking shit together. Because the offensive line was kind of holding up this game. But they still trash. Still sucky. Still was getting hit. Still got sacked. It's just, it just bad. Ziggy Ansah can't stay healthy. Warford can't stay healthy. The offensive line, Cordis Lucas, is suck bad. It's just bad, man. It's just all bad. We can't score for shit. We supposed to have this powerful offense, but can't score for shit. Nothing. Can't get the run game going. Joy Bell can't do shit. Uh, Darius Slay got posterized twice. Not once, but twice. He got posterized twice. Uh, it just, it just, it just, it's just bad. It, it's just all bad. Uh, the one guy that was getting burnt, Mathis, he showed up today. Mathis showed up today. Hold on, you guys. Mathis showed up today. Uh, he did his thing. Uh, who else showed up? Who else showed up? Eric Ebron kind of showed up, but he had a few mistakes that cost, that had something to do with us losing the game. Calvin Johnson showed up. Uh... Glover Quinn had an interception. Lloyd Knight had took the ball up and it came down to uh, Glover Quinn intercepted that bitch. Uh, defense had an okay game, man. The, the, the Denver only scored 24 points, man. Def defense keep keep giving us the ball back and the offenses ain't doing shit. We ain't doing shit at all. <laughs> we not doing shit. Nothing. Nothing. And I'm getting sick of people talking about some levy and this fucking... Sue shit. Our defense is holding up. Yeah, the Denver getting yards, but they they getting yards after our defense has been holding us down for so long. You know what I'm saying? This shit is crazy, man. This shit is crazy, man. How about those pitches, man? They finna come up, man. Hopefully they can give us some joy, man. Well, give me some joy at least. Because I'm a Pistons fan too, man. At least they can give me some fucking joy. They got an 82-game season. If the Lions don't go well for me. Like I say, man, last week I was stressing, got a headache, sweating and shit. Today, man, yesterday, last night, man, I ain't even, 
I didn't even get too bugged out about it. For real, for real. I was just sipping and, and, and smoking my trees and, and doing me, man. So I ain't even trip over this game, man. It's just, I don't know, man. It seems like when we do get on the road, Matthew Stafford throw an interception. Or something, something negates us from being a high power offense. I just don't understand. Joe Lombardi, I promise you, if you don't step up, your ass is going to get fired. You are fucking garbage. You are trash. Your off your off your play calling is awful. It's trash and it's just bad. It's just fucking awful. It's bad. It's bad. If something don't change, fire his bitch ass. For real. This shit is crazy. Get rid of Joy Bell. He's washed. Them injuries. Them surgeries. It is just bad. He washed up right now. He can't do shit. Uh, we need another running back, you guys. <laughs> Amir Dula, he's going to be a beast. Once the offensive line, we ever get an offensive line, we, he's going to be a beast. We just need another running back. A powerful running back. Right now. Joy Bell not getting the job done. We play Seattle at Seattle. No, they defense the shit. The thing with Seattle, man, this is the thing with Seattle. They don't really score too many points, man. This is the thing. They like to lean on their defense for so long and then let Russell Wilson or the special teams get down on some shit. That's how it is. But the Lions come out, the Lions come out and score a lot. We're going to find a way to lose that game, too. Seattle going to find a way to come back. Perseverance through all the bullshit they were going through in that game. And win the game. I don't know what to say, man. If we, and then, I, I just know Russell Wilson, gonna, he going to burn us for yards. He going to, because we, we can never stop the mid, we can never stop the ball from going in the middle of the field. Or from the running back getting away from us. Not, not the running back, but the quarterback getting away from us and making the play. We can never stop that. So, so with man, I ain't even, I don't even care no more, bro. I'm gonna continue to watch. I'm gonna continue to make videos. I'm a fan. I ain't gonna never give up. Uh, yeah, man. I'm starting. I'm starting to fire the manager too, man. I don't like Odell Beckham. I get, I get sick of this shit. I get sick of seeing this motherfucker on TV. Or people talking about this motherfucker. But how the fuck did we pass on this guy, man? How the fuck did we pass on this guy? How? I just don't understand. Some shit, some shit need to change around there, man. Some, the culture still the same. The culture is still the same. Still ain't same old lions. I'm, I'm a, I'm, I am, I'm a lions fan to death, but I'm gonna keep saying. It's the same ass culture, the same ass bullshit that we've been pitting up with for years. They taking our fucking money. We wasting our time going to fourth field and ain't shit happening. It's the same old Lions team and I'm getting sick of this shit. Something need to fucking change. We got too much fucking talent to be fucking losing to these sucker ass teams, man. To these sucker ass teams, man. And it's flip flop ass shit. One minute Kevin Johnson don't show up, somebody else show up. Kevin Johnson finally show up, don't nobody else show up. Eric Ebron showed up a little bit. Go to the table starting to get hot, but Matthew Stafford, of course, want to throw a fucking interception. I don't know what to say, man. I'm just, I'm just done. I'm just done. Like I said, I'm continuing to make videos. I'm gonna continue to watch, but my next focus is on the the Red Wings and the uh, Pistons. You guys, hopefully we can start making a push, but I don't know what to say. I'm not going to keep going back and forth with the, uh, the people, fans, and all that bullshit. That's not me. So if you want to go back and forth, leave a comment. Go ahead. It is what it is. But that's not me. Like I say, it's early as shit. It's 10.15 right now. I'm going to brush my damn dentures and, and, and clean up. You know what I'm saying? Pistons media day today. I'm probably gonna do a video a little later, or after I do this video. Uh, but yeah, man, the Lions lost 24 to 12. <laughs> we managed to get 12 points. <laughs> Fucking missed a field goal. <laughs> like it can't shit go right with this team, man. It's just all bad right now. But I'm gonna continue to stand in there with them, man. It's just, it's just bad, Matthew Stafford, man. I just don't, I just don't get it, man. 
Matthew Stafford. I, I just don't get it, dog. I, I just don't get it. Joy Bell trash. Theo Rick was doing his thing a little bit in this game, too, man. <sighs> mm -mm. This shit is retarded, man. I, I ain't going to never get it. But, uh, the penalties, the turnovers, the mistakes on special team cost us the game once again. Uh, it's just bad, man. 0 on 3 with the Chicago Care Bears and the motherfucking Ravens. So, that's that, man. I guess I'll see y'all guys when we play Seattle, man. I really ain't got If I ain't had no faith last week, I really ain't got no faith in this team. And we lost Warford. We had Warford. The offensive line still went through and shit. I think Iggy Onsaw is injured. So, man, I ain't got no faith in this team. <coughs> time to go Detroit Pistons. It's time to get on a train real quick. I be, I stay on a train. I just, I just couldn't wait till the NBA season start back. Uh, subscribe me, y'all. Like my video. It's just, it's just, this is probably one of the boringest <laughs> videos I've made so far. You know what I'm saying? No joy. No smiling for real. It's just all bad. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't know what to say about this one, folks. But I still got, I still think we can make the playoffs, man. If, if Vikings, if the Vikings start losing, man, <coughs> and after we face the Cargos, I think we can probably beat the Cargos, even though they putting up numbers on the team. They beating the fuck out of teams, fuck. I think we, if we beat the Cargos, bro, we got to, uh, only if we if we beat the Cargos, bro, we got an opportunity to make the playoffs still. If we beat the Cargos, we making the playoffs. Put it like that. If we lose to the Cargos, I don't know. But if we beat the Cargos, we making the playoffs. Uh, I know Hitman, y'all gonna watch this, man. I, I know it's hard, man. We we pitting up with this bullshit again. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. We pin up with the same old shit, man. We've been pin up this shit for years, man. For years. But like I said, I still think we can catch fire. I still think we got an opportunity, man, to do something here to make history. We just got to do it the hard way. We can't win on at home. How the fuck we going to win on the road? We can upset the Seahawks then, hey, I don't know, man, but I, I just don't know, man. I just don't know y'all, man. I'm finna watch the Ace Taker video, man. I just seen some on my phone. Some on my phone here and shit. The Ace Taker. Y'all can see that. Right, hold on. I'm finna watch his video and shit. So after this video, I'm gonna make watch his video. Check it out, y'all. Check the Ace Taker out. He make great videos. I'm away. I'm waiting on Man Beast Morris. I know he gonna come through with some some shit. Uh. 313 Hitman gonna come through with some shit. Uh, everything can. I don't know. I gotta see if he gonna upload some shit. He probably gonna come through with some shit. But once again, the Pistons media day to day. So go on his go on their website if you a Pistons fan and uh see what's going on there. But like I said, man, I'm finna get to this uh this hygiene shit, man. Clean up. You know what I'm saying? The usual. Yeah, the Lions lost. I still love my team to death. Uh, something got to change, man. Something got to change. Once again, I don't think I don't know how many carries Amir Adula got, but he still ain't getting nowhere near 20 carries a game. Uh, yeah, Matthew Stafford. I don't know what to say. I've been defending you for so long. I don't know what to say about you. You doing stupid shit right now. Uh. I don't know, man. T.J. Jones had a nice little punt return. Got us some nice yardage. Uh, got us uh, uh, close to the 50. And what we do? Bump the ball. <laughs> it seems like every time we get in the middle, towards the middle of the field, and we going down, we got to, we picked up a couple first downs. We turn over the ball. 
we fumble, we interception, we do something stupid, or we get penalties, dig ourselves a big hole to get out of, and it's just that. That's sad, man. That's sad. But the city was behind this team last night, and y'all let the city down. Y'all let the fans down. Y'all let me down. Y'all let the fucking Detroit Riders down. Y'all let the whole, the whole city down, man. The whole city. The whole city. We gotta, we gotta go through this shit again. Another year with fucking bullshit and mediocrity. We gotta, we gotta be mediocre. Once again, I gotta hear people talk about my team. Once again, all fucking week, all fucking day. I gotta hear this shit again. We stuck in this fucking mediocre shit. It, it just don't make no sense, man. Fire everybody. Everybody gotta go. We gotta start from scratch again. We gotta start from scratch again. Leave Jim Carwell there, but fire everybody else, man. Terrell Austin, he doing okay. Fire the fucking special teams fucking coach. Fire the fucking offensive um offense fucking coach. Fire their ass. Fire the manager. Get their ass out of there, man. Clean house. Clean house. Next year going into the draft. Defense. Offensive line. Fuck it. Fuck it. Shit. This shit is some bullshit. Lodi Nada ain't doing shit. He had a little tip up, but other than that, he ain't doing shit. Ain't nobody doing shit for real, man. Darius Slade, all week he talking shit in his interviews, but he getting fucking posterized by fucking Julius fucking <coughs> whatever the fucking Sanders, fuck Emmanuel Sanders and Julius Thomas and shit, getting his ass posterized and shit. Big, big play Slay, man. Rookie year Slay, that's what that shit is. Sick of this shit, man. Rasheem Mathis came to play, so I ain't gonna spit nothing on him. Everybody came to play except for Darius Slay, man. He gave up two of the crucialest catches in both halves. Towards the end of the fucking half, when they scored that touchdown, and towards the end of the fucking half, in the motherfucking in, in last in, in the fourth quarter, man, this shit is retarded, man. I just don't get it. I don't understand it. I just ain't gonna never get it. This shit is this shit is stupid. This video went on a long long enough. Subscribe me, y'all. Leave a comment. I appreciate you guys, man, for watching my video, man. This shit is retarded. We zero and three, zero and three. One day was just two days, sir. We not gonna go zero and sixteen, you guys. So don't worry about that. We just got to worry about getting somehow Green Bay to lose. Next week, getting motherfucking the Vikings to lose. And we be smooth. We be alright. Like I say, it's a marathon, not a race. Subscribe me up, y'all, man. It's your boy LB in the motherfucking place to be. Pisses media day to day. Pisses fans. I'm gone. Sub me up. Finna watch these videos and shit. It's your boy in the motherfucking place to be. Hey! <laughs> I'm gone, y'all. Dog. Dog. <laughs>